Hi, folks. This is Ada. Today, we are going to talk about an important topic in modern cryptography called elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman, or ECDH for short. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Diffie-Hellman or shortly DH is a widely used key exchange algorithm that allows two parties to securely establish a shared secret key over an insecure channel. It's based on the concept of modular exponentiation, where both parties agree on a large prime number and a generator, and then perform calculations using modular arithmetic to arrive at a shared secret key without ever transmitting it. Now, let's move on to ECDH. ECDH is a variant of DH that uses elliptic curves as the mathematical foundation for key exchange. Elliptic curves are a type of mathematical curve that has special properties, making them suitable for cryptography. In ECDH, instead of using modular arithmetic, we perform calculations on points on an elliptic curve to arrive at a shared secret key. Both DH and ECDH are key exchange protocols that allow two parties to establish a shared secret key over an insecure channel. They both rely on the difficulty of certain mathematical problems for their security. In DH, the problem is the discrete logarithm problem, while in ECDH, it's the elliptic curve discrete logarithm problem. Now let's look at some of the key differences between DH and ECDH. One of the main differences is the key size. ECDH typically requires smaller key sizes compared to DH for the same level of security. This makes ECDH more efficient in terms of computational resources and bandwidth, which is particularly important in resource-constrained environments such as mobile devices or IoT devices. There are several advantages of using ECDH over DH. First, ECDH provides the same level of security with smaller key sizes, making it more efficient in terms of computational resources and bandwidth. Second, ECDH is resistant to certain types of attacks, such as the index calculus attack, which can be used against DH. Third, ECDH offers forward secrecy, which means that even if one party's private key is compromised, past communications remain secure. In conclusion, elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman is a powerful key exchange protocol that offers several advantages over regular Diffie-Hellman, in terms of efficiency and security. It's particularly well-suited for resource-constrained environments and offers forward secrecy. However, it's important to carefully consider the potential drawbacks and ensure that elliptic curves used in ECDH implementations are chosen and implemented securely. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.